Hey everybody, this is Crestle Snapdragon, and for this next Mix It Up Bot tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually create an activity feed in your Discord. So if you, for instance, don't want to use stream labels and you just want to keep everything within the Mix It Up Bot, I can show you how to create a manual activity feed, which is just going to show you who's followed you, who's hosted you, who's donated to you, who's spent sparks, who's been banned, all that information. This is for if, for instance, you've missed something because chat does move really quickly in Mixer. So if you've missed a few follows, you've missed a few hosts, you can go back to the activity feed. And I really like the fact that I can spawn it in my own Discord server. You can also spawn it into a text file. It's really up to you. I'm going to show you how to put it in the Discord server. This is if you don't, for instance, want to use stream labels because stream labels can be a little bit finicky. But on the downside of using it with the Mix It Up bot, the bot does have to be open and active, so you're going to miss a few offline follows, for instance. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go to Services, and you want to go to Discord, and just make sure that you hook Discord up with the Mix It Up bot. This is going to invite the Mix It Up bot into your Discord server. You need to make sure that it has administrative permissions so that it can send messages in the designated channel. We're going to go back to events and now I just want it to tell me when somebody follows my channel. So what I'm going to do is in the last video we already created alerts for when someone follows my channel. We're now going to go to edit command. We're going to go to action, discord, send message. It's going to send it to the designated channel activity feed which is for my server. And no one else can see this channel except me. So it is a private activity feed that I've created on the Discord server. And it's going to say, username has followed your channel. And remember, this username is a special identifier for the person who has triggered the command. So we're going to save that. And now we're going to test it. So here's the designated channel I've created in my Discord server. And if we test the alert. Here it is. Pressle Snapdragon has followed your channel and you can hear the, the sound for the, the alert as well. But here it's created a manual activity feed telling me who's followed my channel. We can also do this with host. Put it back in the activity feed. We're going to say username has hosted your channel. Save that. Let's test it. Perfect. Now we can do a lot of other things. For instance, again, you can, you can tell when a user has maybe been banned. So we can go to add command, advanced command. We're going to say discord, send message into the activity feed. And we're going to say username, that would be for instance your mod who's going to trigger the command, has banned target username. So if you remember from the very first video that I made for the Mix It Up Bot tutorials, I was talking a little bit about special identifiers and how the username identifier is the person who triggered the command and the target username is the person who is the target of the command. So if I was to ban Sari, who is my roomie by the way, then Sari would be the target of the command. So here this is just going to tell me that username has banned whoever was the target of the banning. So we're going to save this and we can test it, theoretically. It <laughs> Crestle Snapdragon has banned Crestle Snapdragon. Okay, so that's going to tell me who's been banned in my channel and by which mod. Now we can do a few other things. We can do the Streamlab donations I have set up here. We'll go to Discord, send message. Okay, so now I have it saying username has donated a particular amount. So this here, this is a special identifier that pulls the amount that was donated via Streamlabs. So you have to have Streamlabs connected to the Mix It Up bot for this to work. So please see the video prior to this about creating events in the Mix It Up bot. So now we're going to save this. And we are going to test it. 
It's for everyone. And perfect. There's your own DIY activity feed using the Mix It Up bot. Easy as pie. So I really hope this helped you. And like I said, you don't have to have stream labels. Stream labels is kind of annoying to me. I actually really prefer it just being in my Discord server because I have Discord pulled up all the time. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.